March. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Hey, what's up? Uh, I have that background info Bo asked me for, but I can't find him. Oh, I'll take it. He also mentioned he has another job for me. Oh, right. He spoke with me about that, too. You know, let me see if I can't find the info packet for you. I'll be right back. What's in the bag? Oh, for Shane. We were playing this video game based on this comic book. I thought I'd get a kick out of it. What? I don't know. I was wondering, you know. I've been spending an awful lot of time with Gigi and her kid. So, uh... So what if I see Shane a lot? Or Gigi? What's it to you? Uh, okay. All right. I guess I pushed the button. Sorry, the info you needed isn't compiled yet. Uh, be ready first thing in the morning. Is that okay? No problem. I guess I'll be on my way. Unless Natty wants to malign my character some more. Oh my god, I am not maligning you, Mr. Paranoid. I cry because I care. Just care less, okay? If Adriana was back home, <sighs> she's thrilled. Yeah. Well, how long is she home for? Uh, she goes back tomorrow night. Hmm, that must be why you're so bummed. Just a quickie. She wants to get married before she goes back. This sounds like more than just cold feet. Yes. No, I, I don't know. I just, I, I just don't get Adriana's uh, rush to the altar. She tried to explain it to me how she, she's tired of waiting and how she's in Paris away from me. She feels like we're never going to get married. Right. Those all seem like valid reasons. And now she's going to be in Paris for a while. And she, she just thinks that we should just do it right away. Okay, Rex, this might sound like a girl thing, but she has a really strong argument. She's lonely, she's in Paris, she misses you. So why not? Why put it off? It's the timing that bothers me. You got me. But Gigi was there when Adriana walked in. Ah. She left her scarf, so I figured I'd drop it off while I'm here. I'll do it. No, thanks. I, I want to give it to Gigi myself. Make sure she doesn't think it was a big deal to Adriana. Leaving the scarf? No, Adriana's seeing her at my place. Right. Yeah, no big deal. She's in the boardroom. I'm going to drop these off with Phyllis first. Thanks. Bye. Hey, friend Judy. Oh, yeah. Gigi for me? Rex, you're upset. No, I'm not. I'm just not going to interrupt a moment for a stupid scarf. And I got to go. So if you could take care of returning this for okay, me. Come on. All right? This is me you're talking to here. What? You think I'm jealous? Kind of looks that way to me. You know, Gigi? The girl I dated like a, like a decade ago? Or are you kidding? I'm getting married today to the love of my life. I know. I know. Could it be your, what's the term, projecting? Me? You think I'm jealous? Not out of the question. Yeah, no, actually, really, it is, it is out of the question, Rex, because Jared's my uncle. All right, and you know what? If Jared and, and Gigi have chemistry, then I'm happy for him. Them. Why? It's not like they're registering for China. What are you so happy about? So Jared's moving on, and obviously Gigi's not hung up on you if she's making out with random bosses in the boardroom. Uh, no, of course not. Can we not categorize it that way? What? That Why? She, that she's making out with, with random bosses in the boardroom. You, you make it sound like she's easy, and she is so not. Besides which, I'm, I'm sure Jared is the one who kissed her. Which is really kind of sleazy if you think about it, because she's only been here like, like, like five seconds, and he's already hitting on her. Okay, but you don't know that that's the way it happened. I know Gigi, and I know that she would not plant a kiss on a guy she barely knows. So, I think you need to let her know Uncle Jared is a serial heartbreaker before she gets hurt, the same way you did. Very excited to see Adriana. My future mother-in-law, not so much. Dorian's there? Yeah, she popped in. Lucky us, otherwise I wouldn't have left in the first place. What the hell are you doing here? Go home and get that toxic woman out of your apartment. 
All right, call me. Let me know what time to be at the uh, courthouse and if I can bring anything. Just you there. See you soon. Okay. Moonlighting? Speak of the devil. Aren't we keeping you busy enough at BE? You sure are. What? Mm, nothing. Coffee? No, thank you. This uh, suit was expensive. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good with coffee. And if you'd like, I could bring it to you every day with cream and sugar. You have your secretary after all? <laughs> Excuse me, I got a customer. Yeah, how's your problem? What's yours? Coffee with cream and sugar. I didn't ask for it. She offered. Oh, I heard. And we both know why. You're taking advantage of your position to string along a woman who needs a job because she's got a kid to support. You want to start to make some sense? First you blackmail Jessica, then Natty into giving you a job, then you break my sister's heart, then when it turns out you're magically related to both of them, you've moved on to Gigi. You get off jerking women around? I would never hurt a woman. Really? I hear that's all you do. Oh my God. Gigi needs someone she can count on, someone who won't let her down. Oh, like you did. Someone who can be a good dad to Shane, who won't let him down. We're not dating, okay? I've seen plenty of guys like you in my work. A user. It starts here and then it goes straight downhill. First, you fly to the woman like hell. Then you get her to fall in love with you. Then you turn on her. Woo! You feel angry and, 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 and all that attention turns to hostility until finally you're, 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 you're beating her, you're hurting her, you're doing God. Oh my God! Are you okay? Yeah! What on earth happened? Jerry was hitting on Gigi. He's your boss, it's wrong. Jared didn't hit on me. We kissed each other. Is that it was one kiss. We both knew it shouldn't have happened and decided to forget about it. It's no big deal. So he made it one, why? Jared, can I talk to you over here, please? Okay, I'd like to suggest everyone go to neutral corners, please. That's just an excellent idea. I suggest if you want to pick on somebody, it better not be my little brother. My little brother? He's to mind his own damn business, and I wasn't taking advantage of GG. It was a sweet, innocent little kiss. Just wanted to say that if I was wrong about what happened earlier, sorry. I understand how you might have had the wrong idea. I wish it hadn't happened, but... Uh... And, uh, you know what? It's not gonna happen again, right? So why don't we just move on, shall we? Right. Hi! Hey! Hey, hey Natty! You get out. Occasionally. <laughs> well, I just... I know that Jared said GG over your place with a ton of work to do. And I just had this picture of you through nose to the grindstone. If you're on knitting or something, I'm just, I'm really glad to hear that I was wrong. Not as glad as I am. <laughs> so you guys decided to come out and put the other kids up. Something like that. Well, if I go out and home, this is so much fun. I think I see a table. Nice to see you guys. Have fun. You too. Those two look happy. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to say true that I have a death grip on my brother. <laughs>